Hey guys, I want to talk to you about something that happened a few days ago that I wasn't able to talk about until just recently. Well, it's been more than a few days, it's been a few weeks. Um, I was in a car accident. I was following this lady to work. She stopped. I stopped. She st started off again, pulled to the side of the road and stopped. I stopped. I crossed the double yellow line to go around her. Then she, for some reason, made, tried to make a left-hand turn, make a U-turn. I, I really don't know what she was doing. But the reason I wasn't able to talk about it was uh, because they had to decide whose fault it was. Come to find out, uh, they, they deemed it my fault. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in a parking spot at the house now. And what's that parked in my driveway? What is that? Look at that. Oh yeah. Little figure of Mark Messier. Thank you Clint Cole from work. Okay with that said, the guy at work was going to sell me a Mazda 3 for $2,700. My blades was totaled in the accident. They gave me $2,400. Can't really get too much for $2,400. But the Mazda was a good deal. And by the way, they fixed her van. By the time everything was said and done, I was close to $6,000. The insurance paid out. So I went to go buy this Mazda 3. Fine and dandy. Called the insurance company. They were going to charge me $400. Sorry, $1,400. That's $1,400 a year for just liability on it. Well, I really can't afford all that much having an insurance bill of around four or $500 a year. And basically it tripled. And it was basically half the price of the car. So that really didn't seem like a good path I wanted to go down. So I could afford the car, but not the insurance. So, what do I do? I didn't have many options. Talk to my parents. I hate doing that. I'm 47 years old, and I hate going to my parents for help. But this is one of the times surviving all on budget made easy. I actually needed some help because it wasn't too easy. So what we did, they have a Toyota Prius. Great. They tried to put me on their insurance. The insurance didn't want me. So, we talked to the insurance agent, Chuck Jr. His name's Chuck Jr. Chuck Sr. is his dad. He works there, too. And what they came up with, they have an area insurance. They had them for years. I mean, years, okay? Probably close to 20 years. And what they decided to do was give me insurance on the Prius for 14 hundred dollars a year. That's one thousand four hundred dollars a year. Okay, it sounds about the same. But one thing, I don't have to buy the car. The car's going to stay in my mom and dad's name. And the fourteen hundred dollars is for full coverage, okay, with a five hundred dollar deductible. The reason I'm telling you this is because I'm being honest. Uh, I'm trying to survive. I'm trying to survive on a budget. I'm trying to make it easy. But even I need help every now and then. Just to let you guys know, if you ever find yourself in a predicament where you can afford a car but not the insurance, you can afford the insurance and not a car, you may want to talk to your insurance agent or your parents' insurance agent or, or somebody. Sit down, take some time, talk to them, talk about options. This is the best options i got right now. Chuck Jr. from Area Insurance, and in no way are they sponsoring this, suggested that I, I do it this way and stick with the company for a while build up some credibility with them, then try to get my own car, maybe I can get a better deal. I mean, he even tried to get me with my own house, but the insurance rates on that were even going to be high because of everything going on. So I just wanted to be upfront with you guys how, how I do things. Okay, This is a situation I really didn't have a control over. It was deemed my fault. I, I guess sometimes Honesty is not the best policy. I was honest. That's what happened. 
like I said, if you ever find yourself in a situation, go ahead, ask for help, talk to people, find the best option for you. Hopefully everything works out. With that said, as always, thank you for watching.